Hey, we're Norphobia from Öhringen, Germany. We're five guys in the band and we play some kind of black death metal. I'm Florian Mertz and I'm playing the guitar and I'm doing some vocals. In the following, I'll try to answer the question, does it matter where a heavy metal band comes from? Yeah, in terms of influence, I think it's not as important today as it has been 20 years ago. Today, if you want to listen to a special band, then just search for it on the web and you'll find tons of similar bands. Or, for example, on YouTube, if you're listening to a band, then you get a lot of suggestions of similar bands to the one you're listening to. So, yeah, the variety of bands and the variety of uh, music stars and so on is much larger. And it's very easy to uh, uh, find some new bands, some unknown bands and so on. And so it's not maybe the local bands, uh, which influences you, or just a big band, but uh, it's more your own understanding of music than the pl uh, place where you come from. Uh, but what I think definitely uh, influences you uh, is your local metal scene or your friends and so on. So if there are many rock bands in your hometown, then you play in a rock band. Or if there are many metal bands, then you most likely play in a metal band and so on. Uh, and above all the musicians in your hometown, they will teach you everything. They will teach you how to play an instrument, how, how to behave on stage or how to organize some uh, events. Uh, so they teach you the first steps, I think, and that. Uh, makes it easier for you to develop and to get known and so on. So the support, the local support is very, very important. For example, uh, in my hometown, Öhringen, which is a, just a small town, uh, five years ago or something like that, uh, there was nearly every weekend there's been a concert and if you played in a band and wanted to play a concert, then you did not need to write an application or something like that. I know when we started the band uh, in 2005 or something like that, we were just 16 or 17 and we never wrote an application and played about 10 gigs per year. And now I'm living in Stuttgart for about three years, and I never saw one application, uh, one advertisement of a local metal event or a underground event. So it's very hard to um, visit a concert or to visit an uh, event, get in contact with the scene here and so on, or to even to play a concert. I mean, in the last two years, we wrote about. 60 uh, applications here and we just played about two con concerts here in Stuttgart so it's very very difficult here if you're not a famous band or something like that so in consequence of course it's nearly impossible to get noticed and if you're not noticed of course then no one knows you and then it's yeah, here it's more fr frustrating so in terms of uh, support and so on it uh, definitely matters where you come from. So all in all, I think uh, it can be important where a band comes from, uh, especially if you want to play live and to especially to learn the first steps. But it's not as important as it has been now. So, uh, for example, no, uh, the possibilities you have today for uh, so computers, World Wide Web, or home studios to record your own stuff. So it's easier to present you today and so it's not so not as important uh, where you come from if you come from a famous music town or something like that than it has been 20 years ago yeah I think that's it Hi, this is Tom, aka Mr. Aubergine from Captain Zorox. I'm the guitar player in this band and we are from Berlin.
And my opinion on the question doesn't matter where a heavy metal band comes from in terms of location is it certainly does matter where a heavy metal band comes from. Although this goes for uh, generally for all kinds of music. Uh, because every spot in the world has a certain cultural history, there's a certain society there, a way people react to certain lifestyles and so on and so on. And all this influences uh, the individual musician playing in the band, uh, like the way he grew up, uh, the way his parents reacted to his, his music, the way his teachers reacted, the way his, his, uh, his, his mates at school reacted to his, his choices in life and lifestyle. And all this will go directly into the uh, creative output of the musician. Um, like here in Berlin, uh, it's pretty hard to, I don't know, make, a, make an impression on people. It's, um, if you're like a rebel kind of guy who wants to shock the world and, uh, yeah, it, it might be a serious problem for you because y you may walk around naked out there and, well, people will notice, um, but nobody will make, uh, will, be, uh, will make a big deal out of it. And what's even worse, um, people will try to look as if they wouldn't notice. This is a funny uh, phenomenon in huge cities, I think. And um, so, uh, if you I don't know, if you grow your hair and wear a shirt uh, with a naked woman, woman uh, being raped by a demon or anything, and you walk down the, the street, uh, chances are you'll meet a I don't know a father with his two-year-old, and he'll go like, "Hey, great shirt, man! I love this band." And so <laughs> that uh, that puts an end to um, rebellion. <laughs> mm. So and this is the environment we're making our music in, and uh, when you listen to music, if you listen to music, uh, you certainly uh, notice that it's all a bit ironic, a bit you know, funny, and uh, we just love to to mash genres and um, not to make fun out of it, but just because it's fun to play with music with music that way. Um, and our audience, uh, I think, uh, yeah, they, they know a Judas Priest quote when they hear one, and. Uh, even even when they if they show up uh, in a dinner jacket for our shows, uh, some of them I don't know they they come home from their jobs at the bank and listen to Dark Throne or their girlfriend is like into R Kelly or anything. Um, so this is the 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 uh, the environment we develop our style in. But if you take a look at I don't know different environments like a dictatorship or anything, a super suppressive society. Things will be different, like the uh, the guy wearing a morbid angel shirt in a in a suppressive community. He really makes a statement, and it's not only this. Oh, they're such a great band! I loved them when I was young. It's really I represent a lifestyle here that might get me into serious trouble with the police or with the government or whatever. So he's going to treat his music. Probably in a, in a I don't know more serious and more uh, in another way a band from Florida might treat their music although the music itself might not sound that different because they both they both know the the whole discography of Obituary or uh, Morbid Angel uh, but the guys from Florida they might be arrested for puking in public or something but the guy from the dictatorship might be arrested for playing death metal so although the internet uh, connects cultures and um, makes it possible even I don't know, for a guy somewhere in China to, to listen to all this kind of music and to communicate with the world, the, the reality and the society around this certain band or individual uh, will still react to this kind of music and the musician has to react to the society around him. And um, yeah, so uh, like I don't know, a band like Tenacious D isn't that likely to happen in a super suppressive dictatorship.